Did you know that today is National Homemade Soup Day? Well, if you are gluten free or if you have any sort of food allergy that makes it difficult to make good recipes, you're in luck because Dina Gunn is here today with a cookbook inspired by Trader Joe's, and we're making some homemade soup that is gluten free and good for us. So thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me here again. Uh, why is it so important, you think, to, to eat gluten free? Because a lot of people have that food allergy and they don't necessarily know about it until they begin to eat gluten free foods. Yeah, well, people choose to go gluten-free for different reasons. Some of it is they actually have um, a reaction to, the, to gluten, an allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. Some people just find out they're sensitive to it. Maybe it makes them tired or um, it gives them headaches, something like that. So it's kind of, for a lot of people, it's an experimental trial and error. Mm -hmm. And some people just find out it's easier to eat healthier or even lose weight when they um, go gluten-free. They cut out the common things like breads and pastas and pizza and sure. you find they're eating more veggies and beans. And, and they have more energy. So what are we making here today? So we're going to make black bean soup and this is one of the recipes out of our gluten-free cookbook. It's really easy, it's really fast and it's one of my kids' favorites. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So what do we do here? So we're going to start out, um, the ingredients are here, just probably things you have in your pantry already. Um, black beans, onions, some um, olive oil, Garlic, cumin, salsa, and lime juice. Okay. And we'll start off with the onions. Oops, with the onions. With the onions. Yeah, we'll saute those. Oh, I'm bumping into everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, do we put all of them in? Yeah, put all, all of, of it in. That's about one medium onion chopped. And you know what? You can even buy it already chopped and bagged at Trader Joe's and other groceries. That's easy. That's well, really I love easy. that you made Trader Joe's cookbooks because that's all I shop at. And they <laughs> have the best stuff. And it's all, a lot of it's prepared ahead of time. So it's yeah. easy. Yeah, it's easy, taking easy. advantage of all those time saving little shortcuts. And that's mm -hmm. really what puts all the work in the chopping, making sauces, things like that. So you cut sure. that out, it makes cooking easy. So we'll saute these up and um, we're going to kind of plow ahead um, with the rest of the ingredients, but you're going to want to saute these until they're soft, mm -hmm. getting a little bit translucent. Okay. And then to this, we're going to add um, some crushed garlic. Okay. And if you want to stir this, I'll grab this. Okay. And you can um, mince or chop your own, but I actually love to, have you seen this? It's frozen I crushed haven't. garlic. And I keep this in my fridge, uh, freezer. I love to use garlic and it's, this is... Um, the one that tastes really fresh to me as opposed to kind of jarred garlic. Sure. And okay. it's really convenient because all you do is, if it's still frozen, you just pop the cube out and you're good to go. And one of these cubes is um, equivalent to a clove of garlic or a teaspoon of garlic. Perfect. All right, so we got the onions, we got you the got garlic. That going. It's starting to smell good. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add the cumin. I'll stir this. Okay. We're going to add this. We got the about cumin. A teaspoon. Of cumin. That smells good. It does, and it adds a nice smokiness. You can add it to chilies mm -hmm. um, and soups. It adds great flavor. Okay. Get that going. And again, once this is soft, in another minute or two, you would be cooking at home. You would add the other ingredients, and we're gonna start with the beans, and you can just pour it in everything. The, the whole thing, even with the even the with soup? the juices. Okay. Yeah, everything in there. And these beans are great. I've had these for bean burritos, and mm -hmm. so easy to make. Yeah, they're really working. Okay. okay. Great. You want this one too? And the second one, so two of those. Two things of beans. Perfect. Can you do refried beans too, or would you recommend the, the black beans? You know, you can actually, that's actually a great little tip. You can add a little bit of refried beans to th something like this, or to a bean soup, or to a chili. Mm -hmm. And that's a really great shortcut in adding that, you know, that the kind of thickness, yeah. long cook thickness. Okay. And now we're going to add salsa. So one cup the of best salsa, part. and that's about half of this jar. Half of the jar. Okay. And you can use any salsa. Um, this is a pretty mild one I use um, for my kids at home. Okay. But so you said earlier that we let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. About 10, 10, 15, 20 minutes, as long as you want. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to add is the lime juice. And what makes it really easy, which I love, I use this when I make margaritas too. <laughs> it's multi purpose. Which we also have a recipe for in that same book. Oh, you have <laughs> it all in there in the Trader Joe's cookbook. So you add the juice of one lime. The lime squeezer makes it really easy. We discovered these in Nicaragua like about 10 years ago when we went there. Now they're everywhere, but. Um, all right, Thank perfect. So we have the finished product over there. You can see it with the, um, the lovely sour cream and the chips. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming today. Yeah, thanks for having me. We will try this in just a little bit, and you can get your cookbooks where? 
Um, the cookbooks can be bought at bookstores anywhere, anywhere books are sold, Amazon, and you can go to our website, cooktj.com. Cook and we've got tons of recipes and product reviews there. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for coming, Dina. Yeah, thanks for having me.